Today we're going to talk about which hormones cause weight gain and fatigue. Hormones, both too much or too little, can affect your metabolism, which can cause weight gain and fatigue. Here's the three hormones you need to pay attention to to stay lean and energized. Number one, T3. Your thyroid hormones, especially leothyronine or T3, control your metabolism. T3's job is to enter your cells and tell your mitochondria, the little powerhouses in every cell, to make energy. The lower your T3 is, the less energy you will have. And the less energy you make, the more likely you're going to gain weight, specifically body fat. Your cells can also become resistant to T3 and not let it in to do its job of increasing your energy. You can get a blood test to determine if your thyroid is making enough T3, but your T3 levels can be normal and your energy production can still be low. A better way to test T3 function is to measure your basal body temperature. Take your temperature orally first thing in the morning before you even get out of bed. Oral temperatures are closer to core temperatures than underarm temperatures. This is especially important in perimenopausal and menopausal women because their skin tends to be hot while their core is cold. Normal morning basal body temperatures are between 97.8 and 98.2 degrees Fahrenheit. If your oral temperature is lower than 97.8, your T3 activity is poor and you're not making enough energy to support a healthy metabolism and be energized and lose weight. Number two hormone is cortisol. Cortisol imbalance can cause weight gain and fatigue. Cortisol is produced by your adrenals in response to stress. Cortisol stimulates the release of stored sugar to fuel your stress response. At first, high levels of cortisol energize you and make you lose a little weight. But over time, if stress doesn't let up, your adrenals get tired and cortisol levels plummet. Your hypothalamus perceives the chronic stress as a threat to your survival and lowers your metabolism. Your mitochondria make less energy, so you're fatigued, tired all the time, especially in the late afternoon, and your body starts storing what you eat into fat. Stress reduction techniques like Breathing and meditation can help regulate your cortisol levels. In part five of my hormone reboot training, I show you exactly what you need to do to heal your adrenal glands, lose weight, and get energized. Number three hormone, DHEA. DHEA is one of the most abundant steroid hormones in your body. DHEA is called a steroid because its core is made of sterile or cholesterol. DHA follows cortisol circadian rhythm, rising in the morning, peaking at noon, dipping in the late afternoon, lowest at night. DHA's job is to help you metabolize protein and fat. Your body cannot live on carbohydrates alone. You need protein and fat to build new you, new cells and tissues, muscles, bones, hormones, enzymes, neurotransmitters, and DHA is crucial to maintaining a healthy body. When chronic stress wears out your adrenal glands, your DHEA levels will plummet. Without adequate DHEA, you only metabolize carbs. You lose lean body mass as your muscles and bone break down to make vital biochemicals to keep you alive. You're exhausted and you put on body fat. T3, cortisol, and DHEA are controlled by your hypothalamus. Imbalances in any of these hormones can cause weight gain and fatigue. Supporting your hypothalamus with Genesis Gold can help you lose weight and get energized. I'll see you in the next video.